Former Trump attorney Sidney Powell is back on her BS. Fresh off her plea deal in Georgia where she pled guilty to election interference, the Kraken lawyer has gone back to, well, doing what she's always done, pushing uh, false narratives. Yes. Uh, now, prosecutors in Georgia who uh, brought the criminal case against her, she accuses them of being politically motivated uh, and uh, also, you know, said that uh, Willis had extorted her guilty plea. Mm. Mm. Now, this was uh, in a newsletter published by her Dark Money group. They shared a bunch of articles, shared a bunch of posts, uh, arguing that, uh, now, look, Powell had initially represented Trump alongside Rudy Giuliani and Jenna Ellis, who pleaded guilty on Monday as part of Trump's elite strike force team of lawyers that challenged his election loss. And I love how they're the elite, they were the elite strike force made up of her, Rudy Giuliani, and Jenna Ellis. Wow. Uh, part of it, of course. I, I can't get over how hilarious that is. <laughs> because they're anything but elite and a strike force. Okay, uh, now that's it. Powell was accused of racketeering, tampering with election equipment, stealing voter data, and lying to public officials about it. The indictment said that Powell and Trump had met at the White House in December 2020 and discussed strategies for overturning the election. Powell also filed her own lawsuits that were ridiculous, seeking to overturn the election results, all of which failed in four swing states. Uh, she got her information, by the way, from someone who believes that they may or may not be a spirit, who, despite being internally decapitated, speaks to the wind. Wind! Wind! I kid you not. Uh, <laughs> and that this woman's visions were of Hugo Chavez programming Dominion software to steal the elections. Now, she sent this uh, so-called information to Sidney Powell, who was like, yep, seems legit. That's right. Villains in Venezuela. There we go. Total nuttery. Uh, now, in her hearing on Thursday, Powell pleaded guilty to six charges related to her scheme to tamper with the election equipment, steal voter data in Coffee County, Georgia. Uh, but apparently she was just kidding. Oop, gotcha. <laughs> Over the weekend, Powell shared a post complaining that Trump can't even have attorney-client privilege. Now, I mentioned that when I first talked about Sidney Powell's guilty plea and then his response to it. Where he said, well, Sidney Powell was, she was never my lawyer. Well, okay, well, if you were never, if she was never Trump's lawyer, then they wouldn't have attorney-client privilege, now would they? <laughs> she also shared a post that said that a, new, that a survey had found many Democrats believed that cheating affected the outcome of the 2020 election. That was a, from a Rasmussen poll, which of course is heavily weighted towards conservatives. Uh, and it claimed that 42% of 2020 Biden voters believe that it's at least somewhat likely that cheating affected the election. Hmm, really? Uh, now, CNN released polling last month, which found that 6 to 10 Americans think that Biden's win was legitimate, including 93% of Democrats. So you have two different polls, two different, very different results, two very different questions. So Powell, though, was presenting it as, oh, look at all these Democrats that think that Biden didn't win the election legitimately. No, nope, no, nope, that's not what they said. <laughs> not what they said. There's more. Powell uh, had also reposted a video from Tom Fitton, runs Judicial Watch, saying that Trump is under attack for, quote, daring to dispute the Biden election. Hmm. No, no. The, actually, he disputed the election without issue 60 times in court. 60 different court cases all across the country where they were able to, you know, present the evidence that they claimed to have, or at least they had the opportunity to present this evidence, which somehow just never, never uh, got introduced at all to prove that the election was rigged or stolen. Hmm. Interesting. They had the opportunity. They didn't do it. Weird. Uh, in fact, the entire thing was just forget about the evidence. Uh, we, we just trust us, bro. Just trust us. Okay. We, we think it's, we think it was rigged. Hmm. So. He challenged it a bunch of times and lost every single time. That's not what he's in trouble for. You can question the results of an election. Of course. You can dispute about the uh, election. Of course. That's not what you're in trouble for. You're, you're in trouble. Uh, I should say Trump is in trouble 
for trying to illegally seize power after he had lost. That, that's, that's, that's a real issue, okay? That's what he's in trouble for. Uh, so her newsletter, of course, has been putting out a bunch of stuff, which she's been reposting, so obviously it's an endorsement from her. For example, a recent post urged her followers to quote-unquote hold fast and told supporters to read and share articles and YouTube videos arguing that her guilty plea was quote-unquote extorted. Oh, well, if you think your guilty plea was uh, a, vict a, a product of extortion, then, well, you could, you could just uh, reject it. I mean, that's an option, right? Saturday's newsletter quoted a Federalist article claiming that Willis basically extorted a guilty plea from Powell. Doesn't really explain how. In her Monday newsletter, uh, they also cited an Epoch Times article quoting Trump's uh, attorney... Steve Sato, who said Powell pleaded guilty only because of, quote, pressure from Willis. Epoch Times, ran by a cult, <laughs> the Fallen Gong, uh, who pushed QAnon and anti-vax BS. They support the far right. Not exactly a trustworthy source. I'm just saying. Uh, but hey, again, I say, if you don't like the plea deal, just take it back. Go ahead. Go ahead. Please do. Now look, uh, basis for this could be the fact that she lied when she said that her plea was voluntary and the charges had a sufficient factual basis. If it was extortion, it was, wasn't exactly voluntary. Now, was it? Was it? Look, maybe the judge could overturn that deal then. I mean, if they found that she violated it, I would think that lying to the court when you're making your plea might be a violation, but again... Uh, I don't know how likely it would be that a judge would agree with me, uh, but in my mind, apparently she didn't mean any of it. Not, not a damn word. Since she's out here posting all this stuff, I would seriously look at revoking it because how can you trust her to tell the truth? Remember, one of the conditions here of her plea deal is that she testified truthfully in upcoming trials. But she has just shown that you cannot trust her word for anything if she's going to lie to a court about accepting the plea deal where she said she had to truthfully, you know, plead guilty and, and admit that what she did was wrong and that her plea was voluntary. Okay. So that's my takeaway here. Uh, can't trust her at all. Can't trust her to tell the truth. She's out there showing you exactly why she is not trustworthy. So for me, take away her plea deal. If you can do so, do so, because she's obviously didn't mean it at all.